over the last uh, eight to ten months, there's been right now close to 60 hospitals that have closed throughout the United States due to lack of third-party reimbursements, business conditions, the economy, etc. Uh, there was an overpopulation of hospitals in some areas. There is an underfunding of hospitals in some areas. Um, obviously, as the economy has started to slip over the last uh, eight to ten to twelve months with the housing market and the stock market and and um, and, and and the R word being passed around, uh, people that might have been able to pay their uh, their medical bills are now behind or not able to pay at all. Lack of third party reimbursement. Uh, hospitals are businesses. I mean, they they can't run without money. They can't run without being profitable or close to profitable or at least break even. And even though they're a vital resource to the community. They still have to be able to operate because the people that work with them have to get paid and they have to get be funded and they have to operate, uh, which is, again, has been the reason why there's been a, a rash of hospital closures all over the United States. Now, even that rash of hospital closures still can't affect the fact that we have a deficit of 450,000 RNs in the United States and large deficits uh, that also cut across the, all the other allied sectors like therapy and technologists and technicians and, and also psychiatrists and psychologists and physicians uh, and doctors. Uh, so there's still a wide gap in terms of the supply and the demand, uh, but the, again, the, the phenomenon of hospital closings uh, is not something that, uh, that this country has felt uh, very often over the last uh, 30, 40, or 50 years. Uh, the current situation in Birmingham is even more interesting. Uh, uh, Physicians Caraway is one of the larger employers in the Birmingham market. Birmingham is not a big metropolitan area, so the effect of this hospital closure in the Birmingham area is even more desperate and more difficult than the effect of other recent hospital closures in New Jersey, in Chicago, in Detroit, uh, in Houston, and other major markets, where those people could be in more larger percentages absorbed into the local workforce in uh, the same jobs that they have just been laid off in, in because of the closures. Uh, this, we believe, is not going to be the case in Birmingham uh, because it's not a large metropolitan market. The absorption of those people into the other exact jobs or close jobs in the market is just not going to happen, which means those people, those thousand plus people uh, that have uh, are now in the process of losing their jobs and have lost their jobs, are going to have to look at two things, either moving outside of the area to go to another hospital, another healthcare provider, another facility for a similar type of opportunity, if not the exact same kind of opportunity, or they stay in the market and they remain unemployed, or they stay in the market and they go into another job or into another career, uh, which probably is less likely to happen. So the perfect storm if you are a healthcare provider, you're a hospital, uh, you're a, a, a facility that is looking, business that is looking for uh, all of the RN categories, all of the allied healthcare categories, all of the executive categories, physicians, doctors, uh, etc. Uh, this is a perfect storm situation to dip into this market to do a couple of things. Fill vacancies with qualified, quality people uh, in your facility wherever you are in the United States. Number two, uh, help these people out in the time of the year, which uh, it would uh, make sense to do if you're able to do that. So uh, recruiting is op opportunistic. It's all about reaching people that are looking for you when you're looking for them. This certainly creates uh, a wonderful opportunity if you have the need to find qualified candidates efficiently, effectively, and cost-effectively.